Welcome back to HRNHQ, summer racing heating up, post-Independence Day, looking ahead to Saratoga and Del Mar and DeRosa with Sarah Bodwe and Sarah. This is sort of the preview of the preview. There's a lot of stuff coming up, but as a racing site, I feel we'd be remiss if we did not mention Gulfport. You had him. I did. Top pick. A single a in sing many of your pick six tickets. Yes, which uh, unfortunately still did not pan out. But I thought he was spectacular. I thought it was one of the best two-year-old performances I've ever seen. Ever? Ever. Wow. High praise for Gulfport. Yeah. I mean, we were both there in person, and he really drew away from that field. So I would agree that that was a very perfect, impressive performance just second time out, and that he is likely to have a very successful two-year-old campaign going forward. Yeah, it's uh, obviously two turns will be the big question mark. I'd be stunned if there's someone that would not make him the favorite in the hopeful. I would think that would be the goal, grade one at Saratoga to end the meet and then on to the Breeders' Cup somehow or some way. But wow. All you can say is wow. <laughs> all I can say is wow. And all I can continue to say is people should like and subscribe for this stellar content. They absolutely should. And we have a lot more coming out this week with all three derbies coming up. One's on the turf, two on the dirt. Ex Derby runners, yeah, coming back. Are Up and comers, coming? new shooters, new, new shooters. Uh, Iowa Derby Saturday night, Indiana Derby Saturday afternoon, and the Belmont Derby on turf. Those last two part of the cross country pick five. Indiana Derby part of an all stakes pick five in Shelbyville, Indiana. So lots to look forward to this week, and then next week, of course, Saratoga and Del Mar. And can Colonial. Believe, can you believe it's already here that these summer meets are going to be in action? As much as I, I mean, it comes quick and it's like, oh gosh, it's already Saratoga, Del Mar, Colonial. I'm always amazed come Labor Day week and then it's over. It goes by too quick. It goes by really quick. Time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> I what guess can that, you say? I guess that must be it. So we're doing a couple ebooks. Mm -hmm. secrets and all that so if anyone has any thoughts of what they'd like us to data mine or what they're interested in how sarah handicaps saratoga leave a comment still have time to work something out for our content so we'd love to include that colonial going to be uh on our radar this summer great meet to play on those dark days mm -hmm. instead of dark day twitter we can actually play some good racing at colonial but should be a good summer and always better to keep people betting than complaining on Absolutely. So good race meet to be supporting in everybody's free time on Mondays, Tuesdays. All right. I let off with a race I really liked, Golfport. Hopefully we'll see him close out the summer at Saratoga now that I'm officially a Golfport stan. I hope he's like my white abaria for Rennie. Someone's going to have to get you a hat. I guess so, or is it a vest. I think a nice golf port vest. Uh, but I came in talking about a performance I love. I'll ask you, since we're previewing the previews, what horse are you looking forward to seeing racing this summer? This summer? Yes. And so not specifically this upcoming weekend, just this summer in well, general? Well, this weekend is summer, so that would still apply. Well, you know, I'm excited to see my buddy Unoho back in action. Oh. And I know that you're excited to see Tis the Bomb. Is the bomb that's absolutely that that is how good Golfport was this weekend. Is I didn't, even I didn't even think to bring up bomb. Tis the Bomb in the Belmont Derby, wow. and I am very excited. And I'm gonna bet him, of course, you are. He's getting back to his preferred surface. Why shouldn't you? Uh, well, and the price should be right, I think. I mean, they'll bet the euros, they will, yeah, yeah. So, a little concern that Brian Hernandez is in Indiana for McPeak instead of on Tis the Bomb. So, who's gonna be riding Dylan Davis? Meets leading rider? No issue with Dylan, <laughs> but a grade one for a million bucks. No Brian. But, yeah, I mean, maybe to Kenny's me, like, I can get the meet leading rider. To me, that's an upgrade. Well, we'll get into it more when we talk about the three derbies. You have a almost derby runner coming back. I have my derby pick coming back. Should be a great show. I agree completely. All right, join us later in the week. Like and subscribe.